Um, is it possible to use um, plastic or elastic bandage as a replacement for the colostomy bag if the patient is low on budget? Si Ma'am Nelda, meron. Actually, I have the yes, sign na na ganun. Uh, during, if there is an uh, economical problem, uh, they can use uh, regular plastic. Sabi nga natin, support na yung plastic labo. Mm -hmm. uh, then, they can use only tape. That, ano, I usually demonstrate it for patients who cannot buy or cannot afford to buy the commercial ones. Uh, for, lalo na po kung the operation of the stoma is uh, higher than the skin, mm -hmm. uh, they can use the plastic bag. But if it is ano, retracted, there will be a uh, complication like irritation of the skin. Mm. Ma'am Yelda, meron ba tayong local version ng stoma na uh, very cheap for il iliostomy? Yun ang mahirap i, ano, eh. yung plastic <laughs> lang na ano, di ba? For iliostomy, meron bang pwedeng cheaper version yung hindi commercial. Ano po yung yung ang, ang ginagawa natin, yun nga pong bag or the bag at uh, yung pong may bag sila tapos ilalagay na lang yung sa loob ng bag. Inside the bag tapos then uh, ano yon, draw it tapos uh, ibabaliktad. And then we use only as a base plate, we use uh, cotton cloth so that pag nabasa po, uh, there is an effluent, they can easily throw it, then it won't uh, irritate the skin. Or if there is no, uh, if there is, uh, you don't have yet uh, the cloth, they can use as a skin barrier the uh, tissue paper. So, mararamdaman kasi kung basa, alis na At least, no, there are cheaper alternatives to the, ano, uh, sige. Is fleet enema still in practice? Like, especially for patients who have fecal loading, do we still do fleet enema? While well, the patient has stoma? Through the stoma daw. Ah, uh, through the stoma. Well, if there is fecal impaction, you can do enema or irrigation and then ready combined with laxative it can it can be used we use that fit enema as needed from time to time for mom nelda i think several nurses have been asking do you conduct special trainings and how can they avail of special trainings to become um ostomy nurses yes pre pandemic i think it's in 1999 <laughs> in 2019 our last uh, seminar was done here in PGH and uh, yet we are planning to to revive the stoma core group and also to have that training as soon as possible but there are uh, in our division of nursing education and training of lots of programs too and uh, luckily we have there another ET Brenda Lee Sanido. So perhaps even I retired, we can have this training at least even at the end of towards of the at uh, the end of this year. Towards the end of this year. Mm. I think I know Matutowa said because now you'll really have more time to conduct the trainings. So hopefully soon magkaroon na ulit ng trainings, no? Uh, for Dr. Monroy, after ostomy surgery, is there still risk of IBD? It depends. Sometimes, kung wala na yung bowel, for example, sa ulcerative colitis, wala na dapat uh, IBD recurrence. Pero kung hindi pa na-resect yung bowel, nag colostomy lang or ileostomy, then there's still the risk of recurrence. So it depends.
The world moves in real time. So should our healthcare technology. With information needed, decisions to make, and experience to share. Every second counts. Live integrated tele-ultrasound enables real-time communication, remote collaboration, confidence, knowledge, and learning. The first ever integrated tele-ultrasound collaborative platform. Philips Lumify. Integrated tele-ultrasound, powered by React's collaborative platform. Innovation and you. Philips. This is an interesting question. So how do you can counsel a patient that is in denial for their um, stoma? During counseling, uh, we really ask uh, the support of the family. If the patient is uh, somewhat do not like to have operated, later on, when I talk to him, to him or to her, I have a patient like that, a teacher, then when I have uh, told her that the stoma is, or sabi ko nga, stoma is life. It saves life. We want to continue your uh, life comfortably and do, do not suffer from pain until it, uh, when, the, when of, of course, if the, the disease progress like cancer, then pain will be, be very severe. And later on, with that, uh, with my, siguro, magaling po lang ako mamumbinsi, pumapayag na. Basta kasama dapat yung uh, support from the family or the uh, uh, husband or wife na kasama dito. I really like yung, ano yun, last statement mam Nelda na, if I see, talagang this is not okay. just with, I know, but with the effort of the family talaga to help the patient. There's a question here about um, people with stomas. Um, can they have intimate relationships or if a female patient, can a female patient get pregnant even with a stoma? Definitely, <laughs> yes, they can still do that activity and I have patients na naging pregnant even with stoma. So it takes ano lang, siguro, psycholo some psychological adjustment and also, ano naman yung stoma eh? It's air and water tight or proof. So hindi naman na that spill yun. Usually basta maayos yung yung alaga. With, uh, with my experience po, uh, if the patient has partner, uh, then I, I I advise if the one is having uh, during sex education po yon, uh, the, the active one must be the one without stoma. So, uh, siya ang tatrabaho. <laughs> then, she can be get, she can also get pregnant. Especially if there is no uh, no disease in the I think, reproductive system. Yes. Actually, I got one. The complication or the minimal complication lang ko na nag- medyo nag-prolapse ng konti ang yes. stoma. Kung nung lumaki na yung tiyan niya kasi napupush yung baby. Yun lang po. Then kung ano naman, wala namang problema. During uh, may, mating time, mating time, if the girl was the one with stoma, then I asked to have uh, yung, ano, uh, 
They mag, uh, use the it to cover the stoma, yung triangle na parang scarf, at the abdomen, and then sexy pa rin, tingin, uh, tingnan siya ng asawa. Okay? Hindi naman po masasaktan. There are, I think, ano, in the web or YouTube, there, there are some move, ano, video that they can search to advise yung ganon. Um, I think there are several questions here about like aspirin using to control the odor. Um, can that be used? And there's there was another one about confectioner sugar for the ano. Are those things really? Can you really use those things? In my practice, uh, confectioner sugar can also uh, lessen the the prolapse before pouching. We make a uh, uh, we place confectionary sugar and that the stoma will become uh, tagdon, magsiswing siya and then parang lalambot we can push it back to the opening. Doing that is uh, the patient is always lying down. Then relax the abdomen and then uh, we pouch it. After that uh, pwedeng lagyan na rin ng, ano po, ng, ng binder. Because the one that is uh, usually the one that prolapse is the distal portion. So at uh, the proximal portion naman po lalabas ang dumi. So hindi naman ano. Uh, yung temporary lang naman din po yun. Pag talagang sumakit, then re-refer na kay Dr. Monroy yun o opera na nila. How do they know? Pa kung kailan ay re-refer kay Dr. Monroy, how do you know if the patient is having a blockage or a, um, a complication that would require immediate medical attention for their stoma? Kapag nag, ano na, yung obstruction, uh, nagsusukat, nag abdominal distension, nag severe spasm, pain, or yung nakaprolapse, nangingitim na giging ischemic or gangrenous. That's the usual indication. Siguro kay Ma'am Nelda, how what do you advise your patients to look out for then? Or any do they come back to you for follow up or direction na sila sa doctor? Hindi naman po kasi kung telephone ano consultant consultancy. So sabi ma'am, ito na yung aking ano, sige, punta ka na kay doktor. Hmm. Dela po yo kung ano. Diba? Hindi na ako kailangan dyan. It's Dr. Monroy na ang ready dyan. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's all about the time that we have. We'd like to thank Dr. Monroy and Mom Nelda for answering our questions. 